used to be when I asked Kendrick to stay late at the office, he liked to grumble and crack wise. Nowadays, he doesn't have the strength for it. Slumped shoulders, blank stare, wrinkled skin. The past few weeks, I don't hardly recognize my old friend. In his younger years, he reminded me of a gallant royal officer in an old Kipling story. Kendrick isn't just crumbling under the weight of the public pressure, but from the shame of it all. Internal affairs raided the library he inherited from his grandfather, hoping they'd find buckets of cash stashed in the pages. Heard about the look on his face, the fearless policeman standing helpless in horror. I've known Francis for 30 years. The past 20 years, he's played loose with the law. And I know that at a certain point, every stolen dollar brings more misery than anything else. Probably sounds crazy, but I sympathize with the guy. What can I do? Your friends are your friends, and these are the waters we swim in. Called all of the people on that list today. Now they know you're in business. So you could get a call from any of them. You don't need to worry about any of them. I've cleared them all. And what kind of business are we talking here? It's nothing too serious, just like you asked. Should be just a few small favors. Payments will vary depending on the situation and who you're dealing with. How much are you looking to earn? Half a million. Half a million? Why not a whole million? Because everybody wants to take a million. Figured I'd try something different. Half a million in 180 days? Well, you could earn it all above board if you netted all the big fish and hit all your bonuses. Never knew you for a fisherman. Well, you never got into my business, and I'm not trying to get into yours. But be careful about bringing in any other cops. Sooner or later, they'll put the finger on you. And, and one more thing, Jack. I remember what you said, but I should probably add one more name to that list. Christopher Sand. Sand. Not Christopher Sand. Oh. Christopher G. Sand. Everyone knows the name, but few could tell you who he is. The old man stays away from the spotlight. Always wears old-fashioned jeans and knitted sweaters. Gives to charity. Rarely attends social events. An avid hunter, I hear. Even dabbles in poetry. You'd never guess he's the head of the oldest and most powerful gang in the city. Goes back as far as his great-grandfather. And Sand is strict about following the old rules. He rarely involves himself in commonplace murders and robberies. Hardly needs to intimidate anyone to get his point across. The people who work for him each have their sphere. They provide protection where needed, even work with the authorities when they want to make a deal. Meanwhile, Sand pulls the strings without getting his hands dirty. People sometimes mistake his quiet approach. A couple years ago, an arms dealer decided to expand its business without asking permission, and his whole family paid the price. In four weeks, Sand killed 31 people, old men, women, even a few teenagers. And Sand's people made sure every paper reported it. Frank, I don't want to hear you say that name again. Jack, please, listen to me. I'm in with these guys. We agreed, Frank. That's not the kind of business I'm into. I don't go there. Never have, never will. Wowza. Christopher Sand, he makes his point, I suppose. Okay, what have we got going on now, then? Construction of a cinema museum postponed again. Francis Kendrick announces retirement date. Legendary singer Gennaro Cres Crespo comes to Freeburg. Day three, Wednesday the 17th. Off we go to work again. Our car still won't start. Quick shout out just as we're on the way in. Um, player two insert coin is in the, is in the chat. Um, if you don't know who that is, go and check out his channel on YouTube. I've been uh, doing a few videos with him that'll be up fairly soon, but, uh, if you get a few, a few free minutes, go and have a little look at his his channel. Um, and uh, yeah, keep an eye out for the videos that he and I will be in soon. Okay.
promotions. In addition to their performance, in addition to their performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank. They can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes once a week. You can pass out these stripes and will improve the rank of any employee. If you think that no one is worthy of the honor, some week you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go away until your people are ready. Okay. Got it. Employees of rank not only increase your in professionalism, but also learn to command. Whenever a ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get rank, they start thinking more seriously about their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Okay. So, we don't know about these guys. We're not going to give out any stripes. Let's just see how Let's just see how, see how we go. Freeberg is one of those cities when you listen to... And what you listen to is what they say, or nothing at all. You can always select a song from your collection and play it at any time, just like in real life. Okay, well, uh, we've only got a rubbish record collection. I'm going to go with this one. What is it? Get in there. Okay, we're going to have some music for this. Nice. Okay, let's learn how to hire and fire cops. Okay. Hello? Hello? Oh, this isn't great. Apparently we're not going to hire or fire anybody. We just have a little dance. Um, oh, now you tell me. Now I can click the button. Right. Police station. Here we go. Labor market. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. Job slots are separated between officers and detectives. So I've got 15 cops out of 16 and 5 detectives. So I guess it would make sense to bring in some Brandy Bailey. Um... Shift B. So I'm going to try and get rid of Price. On a free hour per slot, time to fire somebody. Oh, who the hell is Roy? God damn it. If you have legal grounds for the termination, no one will ask any questions, but you may need to fire them anyway. Uh, Gala, you be damned. But that could land you in additional proceedings. And your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs. Than they are about actually doing their jobs. Another way to free up a slot is have the police officer killed. But that's not really a valid option, right? Jesus. Okay, so I could fire Roy illegally because he's too old. Let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, so we know how to fire people. We know how to hire people. We've got a job straight away. Vandalism at the cathedral received a frightened call from the local cathedral this morning about an, uh, the abbot discovered that someone entered the old cemetery during the night the old yard's tombstone are painted with satanic symbols have been broken into pieces it seems there are even marks from a shovel but the abbot would say no more okay robins you and look at birch seriously can I fire birch and he's Bloody son, right. You two, you're out on the case. Robbins and Grant, you can handle this. So I could hire a detective as well. We haven't used a detective yet, so we'll hold off. I have to say, I'm enjoying the music. Okay. Businessman Harley Jones looking out of his window saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Okay, Stovall, you're taking the two birches, my friend. Good luck. Now, Stovall is, is of rank, so hopefully that means these two chumps are going to work a little slightly harder. Who, they, I mean, Shift A is pretty poor, I have to say. Okay, vandalism. Offers, offenders caught, officers unharmed. Nice. 
Robinson Grant, they did the job. I like it. Okay. Eddie's Burgers. A suspicious individual. Waitress named Miller reports that she just served a chicken Eddie in a diet coat to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on television this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window. Okay. Samady, you're up. And you're going to take Roy with you. You can do this. Can't believe we just sent Roy out. Okay, we got a report from some vandalism. Fender Court. Officers unharmed. Stovall, Birch and Birch Jr. did the trick. Good work, you two. We've only got one policeman in the... Uh, pre oh, no, we got some back. Robbins and Grant are back. It's good news. Okay. The waitress has re mistaken retired officer Frank Nero for the fugitive. Oh, rubbish. King's Nightclub. Mr. Boyd, my bouncers, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again and now he can't get off the can. Meantime, the line outside the block is club is stretching around the block. We need someone. Birch Jr., this is a job for you, my friend. Does, does that happen? Do businesses ring the police when their bouncers don't come in? Who knows? It's five o'clock. Roy's back in the office. Okay. Christopher G. Sands Ice Arena. Oh, hello. That's cool that came down the clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. Well, we're not having that. I hate clowns. Right. Stovall and Robbins, you're up. Okay. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. Um, okay. Well, see you, buddy. We got four and a half grand for that. Nice. Uh, what have we got going on here? Fleet Street, a naked man carrying canister of gasoline is threatened to set himself on fire unless his favourite chewing gum becomes more popular again. Um, Van Dahl and... You know what? Dahl and Roy, they're on the case. He's never going to set fire to himself. So we can hire a new policeman. Sogo, you're in. Shift A, that's what we are, isn't it? Yep. Well, that's good news. I'm glad he went. If we can get rid of Roy as well, which we can, we might have a reasonable police force. Okay, it's 8 o'clock, end of the day. We've got people going out to crime, so it looks like we have to wait until they're finished. As policemen arrive, a clown is seen making balloon animals for kids. Take the clown to onto the ice and round up any witnesses. That seems like a silly idea. Cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be in this customer. Carefully watch the clown from the... I'm doing the raincoat thing. 11, 11. Oh, we got him. Yes. Stovall, you are super cop at this moment in time. Suicide threat. Offender escaped. Officers unharmed. Oh, Van Dahl, what are you doing? That was Roy's fault, I bet you. Bet you that was Roy's fault. God damn it. End of the day. We've done it. Um, so shift... B, we look good. Everyone's rested. We need to get rid of Price. But I'm going to, tomorrow I'm going to get rid of Roy and we're going to bring someone new in. Mm -hmm.